What's up guys? Subscribe for new content and gear reviews. If you're shopping for new gear, check out the links below for my recommendations from top retailers. If you've ever shopped for Pearl Izumi bibs or shorts, you can know it can get quite confusing. I'm gonna try to go over the different options and explain a little bit between the different models uh, to help you understand what might be right for you. So there's basically three different categories for their top end bib. So over here, I've got the pro bib short. This is their attack version and this is their expedition version. So just to keep things simple here, the pro version is their top of the line. It does have a few different options uh, as far as chamois and materials that it's made with. Uh, the attack is a more value branded, so you're going to see a few differences there, like uh, seams where it's going to be flat on the pro version. And then the expedition is more for your long distance rides, your gravel rides uh, underneath like a mountain bike short. The main difference there is that it's going to have pockets on the thighs and pockets in the back. So let me go over each one of these individually just to show off some of the features. So starting off with the pro version here, you're going to see these flat seams. So it's going to be less chafing. Uh, if you move over to the attack version, you can see that those are stitched. So it's a little bit thicker uh, on top there. These are all going to be laser cut. So the seams are really minimal. I mean, you may have a couple of reinforced stitches up at the top like that. With the pro bib, you're most likely going to get the pro chamois as well. There are three different chamois that Pearl Izumi offers in their main line, which is the pro. They have a plus that's offered in most of their tights and then just their regular levitate chamois, which is a scaled down version, a single layer foam. So this here is the pro chamois. It's got a dual layer foam I believe they came up with the name Levitate because these are just stitched around the outside so there is some movement of the chamois against the skin or against the outer layer just to pre prevent the chafing. And it moves a little bit better when this is tight against the skin. So it's also got this channel in the middle here and I believe all of, all of the chamois do come with this channel cut in. So lastly, the tapered towards the edge here. So that really just creates a, they call it an infinite uh, transition. So, you know, when you're looking at a pad from behind on a short, it kind of tapers off towards the edge. So it's not just a big cutoff where the pad is. With the pro version, again, you're not going to have those big seams. These are more of a welded seam, I believe they call this, where it's glued together and so it's very flat laying against the skin, not going to shave as much. Um, you're also going to get the leg gripper down at the bottom. These also, it's worth pointing out that Pearl Izumi has a nice low cut on the front. So going to the bathroom in these isn't hard. So that's the pro version. Over to the attack version. Well, worth pointing out as well is this is the pro air version. So. This is where things start getting a little confusing. They have the Pro version and the Pro Air. The Pro Air is going to have a slightly different material that's a little lighter and better at moisture wicking. If I remember correctly, it adds about $60 to the price to get the Air version of the bibs or shorts. And this here is the Attack version. It is also the Air version. So one thing it has is these little cutouts in the back just to provide a little additional airflow. It's going to be a slightly higher quality or moisture wicking and lightweight material that these are built with. But right away you can see the difference between the pro and the attack version is just the seams that you're going to see around the short. So up top here you can see just all of the seams around. That's going to be the major difference. You're going to save around $100 or so from going from the pro to the attack, depending on the different variations of materials that you're selecting, whether that's the air or what pad you're getting in these. So they do have some similarities. You'll see they still have the rubber gripper down at the bottom, but it is a lot smaller. These attack shorts do have the 
Pro Chamois here pad. So it's the same pad. And just to give you a little idea of what another pad might look like, these are an older pair of Pearl Izumi shorts that I had. This isn't the actual basic Levitate chamois, but it's very similar. Uh, the Levitate chamois has a bigger cutout here, but this is very similar. It's a single density foam or cut from one piece is the difference. And then these are multi-layered. And so just to give you an idea of side by side, you can tell that these pro chamois are a lot more comfortable or these pads are a lot more comfortable um, over just the Levitate chamois. Also worth pointing out here while I have these shorts out is the difference, you know, on a, as you go down in price on these bike shorts, uh, you're going to start seeing more seams along the edges. Uh, this is just a folded over edge versus they call these laser cut edges. So they lay flat against the skin a lot better than um, the cheaper versions of the shorts. Then here we've got the Expedition version. To make things a little more confusing, these are an Expedition Pro bib. I was unable to find them on their website, but they do make the Expedition and the Expedition Pro. I do not believe they make the Expedition in an air style. So these are a little bit thicker um, material. With the Expedition having the additional pockets, even with this being the Pro, you're still seeing the seams in here. It still has the floating pad where it's just stitched around the outside. You're also going to see those rubber grippers all the way around. The main difference here is on the back, you're going to have that pocket for the Expedition, as well as on the thigh, you're gonna get the pocket as well. These are some of my favorite for gravel riding or underneath like a baggier mountain bike short. On the inside, they have the Pro chamois or pad here. Uh, that is their top quality pad. So I think those are the, the three major points to look at. You're going to be looking at the Pro version, the Attack version, or the Expedition. You know, the highest quality, highest, best materials they have, best pads. You're gonna find those in the Pro in the Attack. It's more of a value, budget conscious, but still really high quality, super comfortable pad. And then Expedition is more for longer rides, gravel riding. Uh, it's going to have the pockets built in as well. Just to confuse things a little more, I've got another pair of shorts here. So with some of the mountain bike shorts that you get from Pearl Izumi, they include these pads with them. I don't know the exact name of these, but just to give you a comparison, you know, this is a very cheap pad, single density, single, um, pad inside there. It is levitated, uh, just stitched around the outside. So you do get that movement, uh, next to the skin, um, with the pad sliding back and forth. But when comparing it side by side with their pro versions, you can definitely see, you know, the difference there. There's a lot to know when you're shopping for different bike shorts and bibs out there, but keep in mind, you know, the fit, the comfort, you're going to be looking for a breathable material, you're going to be looking for a good quality pad, you know, depending on the length of ride, the pad is going to matter more. You know, something like this, I can go out for a quick ride and it's not going to bother me too much, but it definitely doesn't fit as well against the skin as some of these higher end pads. I hope this helped. If you like cycling content or just gear videos in general, please give a, a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're always reviewing new products and looking for cool new things out there. Uh, we have lots of cycling stuff coming up. If you want to be notified of it, be sure to click that bell. And as always, thanks for watching.